Hi guys, it's Colette. Just checking this is on because I did about a third of the video and my SD card was full and stopped. So yes, it's been one of those days, but I'm determined to get the psychic development done. Now this one um, is Bibliomancy. Bibliomancy, I've done a big video on before and I'll link it up here and also in the description box below. So if you want to watch that first, you can do. But this is Psychic Development Exercise, I think 29, and we're going to uh, go on with it now. Now, I want to bring as much randomness into this development um, as possible, and I want you all to join in and give me back what, it worked, what you got or whether it worked for you or not. Bibliomancy is the form of divination that uses words, books and phrases uh, to give you insight into certain things. Um, sometimes you can just grab a book or sometimes you might want a religious text. It's really up to you. But um, I sometimes like to sort of mix it up a bit with different types of books because in the video that I did before, it was actually a very odd book that gave me the most accurate answers and it was just a novel it wasn't a spiritual book of any sort so um i have three books today and i'm going to let my pendulum choose which one i'm going to use and before i start i'd like to put out that my question um is what advice does the universe the guides my higher self um have for me in Getting through February while we're still on lockdown is quite a personal question. We're seeing light at the end of the tunnel, but um, as you know, um, it's nearly a year now and um, I'm getting tired. So I'm, I want a wee bit of advice. So the three books I have are my own Memoirs of a Clairvoyant by Colette Brown, um, Everyone vs Racism by Patrick Hutchison, and um, the, the, that I'm reading just now, I'm reading this at the same time, is Handstands in the Dark by Jane Godley. Um, that's a memoir um, set in the East End of Glasgow by a Scottish comedian and it's really, really good. Now, so there are my three books. How do I choose? Well, I personally use my pendulum and in this lovely little box in my, um, in my, magical chest I have my two pendulums one is glass and the other one is a benchling. and I'm just going to check which one I feel wants to connect today hmm, let's see trying to stop right um Normally a clockwise is a yes for me, this is going anti-clockwise, but this is actually pulling down as though it wants to be the star of the show. So sometimes it's moving back and forward, gives me a no. Sometimes um, I just feel that the, it's almost like a depth charge wanting to go down. So before um, I start my... Before I start officially kind of saying what book I'm going to use. I'm going to let the pendulum choose. Now again, sorry you can't see but I've got three books here. I'm going to, I'll hold the pendulum a bit higher. This is my book, Memoirs of a Clairvoyant. And that's a yes and I know, isn't it? It started circling and then it went back. So that's a kind of, yeah, meh. <laughs> right, Patrick Hutchison, Everyone versus Racism. Whoa. Yep. It's definitely a clockwise, that might be a gore. And we've got Handstands in the Dark by Jane Godley. Come on. And it's going anti-clockwise. So my pendulum has chosen everyone versus racism. So 
we'll see what kind of answer that gives remember don't go into it think oh that book wouldn't give me answers because um beforehand when i've used books sometimes the novels or the people's life stories have been the one that gave the best so um for bibliomancy get a i'll take this out for now um you get a pin or some sort of um very fine needle or whatever and you say your question and you push it in and then you open your book and pull it down to wherever you feel you want to stop on either side and that's what you read um i have a, a really <laughs> it's really pretty i don't know who gave me this but um it's a little bear i think um and i do love it <laughs> This is one of my favourite bookmarks. <laughs> Can you see it? And what I do is, um, in asking the question, I would push this down wherever I feel. And also, where it kind of went down, I'd turn it like and move down. And I would make up in my mind whether I was going to use the left hand page or the right hand page. Um, and that's the way I would do it. But if you look at the other video, you can see me doing it in other ways too. It's just this is this is a really good one for bibliomancy. So I'm going to do this. I want you to try and do it too with a book of your choice and a question of your choice. And um, then if you would take the time to put your answers in the comments below, that would be absolutely lovely. Um, it might not work for you, it might work really well. Sometimes you're absolutely gobsmacked by it. So, um, right. You always do it with honour and a sense of respect that you'll take whatever answer you're given, given and also you'll take no answer if you land that blank page. So, my question is, what can I do to get me through February, still in heavy lockdown and feeling tired? How, I, how do I get the energy to come through it? And I'm going to move this around until I feel that stop. Move that in and I'm going to pull it almost right down to the bottom and I want to read the right hand page. So, what I'm at at. We look at our grandparents in disbelief that they could ever live through some of the things we learn about in school and that they survived and somehow got on with life. Oh, oh my goodness. So I asked how I could get the energy, how I could keep going. And we stopped at this bit here and it says... We look at our grandparents in disbelief that they could ever have lived through some of the things we learned about in school and that they survived and sometimes got on with life. Okay, so here's what I take from that. <laughs> I take from that that we've come so far, we're nearly there and the universe is going, go on with that, go on with your life. This is bad. There's an acknowledgement it's bad, but there's also an acknowledgement that our parents and grandparents went through far worse. And yeah, how how apt could that be? How apt could that be? And saying that I do get a lot from Bibliomancy. I'm used to, you know, it just the thing is you've got to accept anything. Don't move your needle. Don't say, oh, that one above it is probably better for me. Read exactly what's there. If it doesn't make sense and it's not for you, you're not getting an answer. But if any answers like that are a wee bit cheeky or hard, then please take them. So I love that. <laughs> Basically, collect it on. <laughs> um, so I I'd like you to do the same. I'd like you to take part. It might be nothing you've done before, but it's so good. And it's just like maybe... It's a form like of what we call sortilege, and sortilege uh, in divination includes um, tarot cards, oracle cards, um, anything that, that brings out a randomness. Um, so, yeah, enjoy, and I cannot wait to see what you get. And I do hope that you will have a look at the other video as well and um, see what you think of that. And uh, 
let me know if you like this background I found I think it's absolutely cracking I've not worn it I've not worn it I've not used it for ages and I put it up and with the light it's it, it just maybe the way I feel at the moment the trees are outside and um you know I've got trees behind us we're all curried down at the moment um and I have been told by this session of Bibliomancy that I've just to get on with it please please take part and let us all enjoy it and comment on one another's and have a laugh and also if anything kind of serious comes up if you've any concerns about it put that down too um i'll definitely be watching out for the comments on this so let's get going with the psychic development i hope you've enjoyed this i really cannot wait to see your answers and i cannot wait to see what you think about what i got as well that is going to be so funny so anyway many blessings i'm going to switch off now bye love yous